But what I want us to consider is there was a time when Jesus knew nothing. He was a baby. Mm -hmm. That means that there was a time when he lapsed from not knowing who he was to knowing who he was. There was a definitive moment in time when occurrences in his self-awareness began to take place. Mm. Do you know where he came to understand his identity, who he was, the Son of God, the God-man? Hmm. No, I, I can't recall off the top of my mind where that specifically is pointed out. Well, since he is the Word of God, knowing that the Word of God grows out of the Word of God, now if I ask you, where do you think he became aware of his identity since he is the Word of God? In reading the Word of God. Exactly. Yeah. And we're going to take a look at that. Yeah. It goes from simple to much more advanced, in-depth, secretive views that God has placed in the Word showing us this. Let's take a look at one. And the first one that we're going to look at will be on the easier side. We always like to start there, right? Yes. And that's going to be in Numbers chapter 21, verse 8 and 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass, and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. That's very common and easy to see. Mm -hmm. I think every Christian in the world uh, quickly like Jesus quickly saw mm. that the brazen serpent is Jesus upon the cross. Mm. Very common. I didn't know that actually. Yeah, I've never seen that before. You're, you're <laughs> so beyond that, I'm amazed. Yeah, no. Sometimes the simple things are hidden from us. Yes. I'm, I'm glad we covered that because I never, I never saw it that way. Well, it's taken from John chapter 3. Let's look at 314. Okay. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. I had never seen it before. I just, maybe I didn't put the two pieces together and see the parallel between those. Amen. I'm yeah. glad that you saw that today. Yeah. And I, I do think most of the viewers uh, have seen that mm -hmm. and have made that correlation and understood mm -hmm. that. And I want to point out that when Jesus read the Old Testament, he understood in his spirit that was speaking of him and that he was to be the Messiah given up for the sins mm. of the world. So comparing Scripture with Scripture, mm -hmm. we see that. Jesus didn't compare Scripture yeah. with Scripture, though, did he? He read it and mm -hmm. understood that that was to be his life. Mm -hmm. When it manifested, when it outworked in his life, that became the growth of the Scriptures, mm -hmm. and the Word of God grew. Yeah. Mm. So somewhat easy to see yeah. after I explain it. Yeah. I'm going to take you deeper on the same passage, okay. or passages, that's not easy to see. Because it was simultaneously the growth of the Bible, not just the growth of the life of Jesus, but the growth of the Bible. We read about the brazen serpent in the book of Numbers. This is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Okay. Jesus recites it about himself in the book of John. That's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Mm -hmm. Four and four. Yes. What was it with Peter? It was two and two. Mm -hmm. Acts two, Joel two. Yes. Now we have Numbers book four mm -hmm. and John book four, mm -hmm. where they come up. Mm -hmm. This is showing you how it's all growing out of the seed mm -hmm. in a manifestation and an outworking of orderliness according to the genes. Yeah. Amen. Jesus went through a cognitive dissidence. Being a baby and not knowing a thing, mm -hmm. and then becoming aware of basic childlike understandings, mm -hmm. there was a cognitive dissidence as to who he was. Mm -hmm. But there came through the scriptures a cognitive consonance where he understood. Mm -hmm. 
I am the Son of God. Yeah. I am the mm -hmm. Messiah. I am the Word of God. Mm -hmm. He came to understand those things. Now, we must apply that to ourselves. Weren't we in the world? Mm -hmm. yes, and we did we not have the day when we understood deep in our heart, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Well, let me tell you, there was a cognitive dissonance in our life that turned into a cognitive consonance where we understood that we belong to Jesus and who he is and who we are in relationship to him. And that is the same experience in having the scales come off from your eyes to understand that God has finished the Bible in the King James Bible.